In this video, I'll be walking through how you can export and import your marketing and informational widgets that are on your website. This is handy if you want to bulk update your widgets in, for example, Google Sheets, or if you are migrating widgets between two systems. Let's take a look at the widgets on the website real quick. For example, this header menu is a widget. This banner here is a widget. These content tiles are a widget. And so is this top brands slider and this footer menu. And now in order to export these widgets, we want to go to the operations portal and log in. And then here we'd want to go to the widget screen. It'll be under the CMS section here. And here are all the widgets for your site. Now I only want to export this header menu, the banner here, and these tiles. So I'll go ahead and go back. Here is our three widgets that we want, home slider, header, and home content tiles. Now if I was going to export this information to bulk edit it, I'd want to make sure I have all my data, so I have code, which you need. And we also need the content column, which isn't here, so let's go ahead and add it to the grid. Click Show Hide Columns, and click Content. And while I'm at it, I'll remove all these columns that I don't really need for my important export. I can remove Active, Created, Description, Keywords, as Modified, and these others. This is all the data that I need. If you wanted to also update, for example, SEO code, description, keywords, and whatnot, you could add those columns and export them too. Now that we have all our data, we can go ahead and click File and click Export. I'll go ahead and click Save. And now in order to update this data, I'll go ahead and open it in Google Sheets. I have an empty sheet here. I'll go ahead and import my export. I'll go to Upload, Browse, and choose my file. And here's all the information, the code, and the content and the title. Now you'd want to go ahead and do all your updating here and then when you're done I'll go ahead and add a name and then you can click file, download, and save as CSV. And now if you're bulk updating or migrating your widgets from a different system you can now go back to either your current system or your different system. Since it'll be the same flow either way, I'll just go ahead and demonstrate how you can import on a different system. So for example, I have this system here, content.coderas.com. Here's the header, a different banner, and some content tiles. You'd want to go ahead and go to the operations portal and log in. And then we'd want to find the widget screen here. And we can go ahead and click File, Import, and choose one of these import methods. We have Create and Update if you're creating and also updating widgets. We have Create Only if you're only creating, up, creating widgets. And Update Only if you're only updating widgets. Since I already have these widgets here on my system, I'm going to go ahead and choose the update only option. You want to go ahead and find your file, select it, and then here we have our message. Your import file has been queued, and let's wait a moment while our import runs. All right, it's been a minute and our import has run, and these changes should show up on the website. 
So let's go ahead and go back. Here was what the website was previously. We have this header with information, news, our company, and these tiles and the banner. And if we refresh, we can see that it's been updated with resources, trending, about us, and these new tiles and banner. And that about covers importing and exporting.